Humans are designed to have CBD and THC in our bodies. Prior to 1937, when prohibition was enacted, our doctors understood the benefits of these compounds and they prescribed marijuana regularly. Marijuana was introduced to the body through ointments as a food, smoked, and given to the cattle we consumed for thousands of years before Harry J. Anslinger's racist campaign against the black, Mexicans, and jazz musicians of the time led to prohibition against CBD and THC. Over the years his efforts have led to a failed drug war which has caused devastating effects all across every ethnic group in the world. His racist efforts have led to the heroin overdose deaths and the reduction of the life expectancy in the United States. Harry Anslinger's racist propaganda has led to an endless amount of problems that every mother, father, grandparent, and judiciary committee across the country must deal with. Lawmakers think their lack of understanding is a reason to vote no on legislation that will fix a lot of these problems created in the 1930s. The opposing side always brings up the developmental concerns they have. They cite biased studies from drug addiction specialists and organizations making money off treating something they turn around and claim hasn't been studied. If I'm not mistaken, these same positions are supposed to be working for the will of the people and not under the biased, misinformed conscience they so frequently rely upon to cause further harm to the communities that are living through this disaster created by racist ignorance. Most people do not realize how important certain compounds are to the development of our body and how those compounds actually get to where they need to be. Two key areas that must get the proper balance of CBD and THC are the brain and the spine. The discs between our vertebra need a mixture of CBD and THC to continue to regenerate and reduce inflammation from the constant abuse it endures. It is imperative to get plenty of rest so these compounds absorb in our spine in the areas of the body like the brain. As we all know, the brain has been the center of a lot of controversy during marijuana debate. There is more and more evidence being released every day about humans, the endocannabinoid system and how the main ingredients in marijuana, THC and CBD, play a very important part in proper development and regeneration of brain tissue. The endocannabinoid system, ECS, is a biological system composed of endocannabinoids, which are endogenous LIPID-based retrograde neurotransmitters that bind to cannabinoid receptors and cannabinoid receptor proteins that are expressed throughout the mammalian central nervous system, including the brain. This system must be fed in healthy order for humans to fight off environmental hazards that lead to many chronic conditions and terminal illnesses. Since the 1930s, the only way for humans in the United States to replenish this system is through the breast milk of our mothers. Children bottled fed never get the essential benefits because cows, pigs, or other grazing cattle do not eat cannabis waste anymore and our soy fields have not seen the benefits of cannabis being grown on them since prohibition began. I'm not a scientist, a doctor of anything, but I'm a reader an observer, and a logical thinker that has seen and read more studies and new articles from across the world than I would like to admit. I am just one vote within an army of voters that have the knowledge, the experiences, and the will of the people to make the necessary changes to protect our people from further abuse brought on by a ridiculous war against the plant. We have shown you the study. If you are too lazy, uninterested, or just plain scared to understand the importance of this issue, then allow the public to make this decision by voter referendum. We are not going away until this war stops.